Welcome to another edition of Interesting People with Bob Brill. Uh, what we've been doing is taking a look at the 2023 movies that we've seen. To give you an idea, we're not taking long, uh, three to five minutes max. So we know you're not going to sit here for 20 minutes. And we're not using movie clips. You can find movie clips all over the Internet. Uh, we're not going to use them. Uh, it's a process of permissions and things like that. And, and it's just a hassle. But you can find clips anywhere uh, of, of these movies and the trailers and everything are out there. And I don't want to use trailers. But we're doing movie by movie of the 23 films. And uh, the latest one uh, we're going to talk about is an interesting film. Uh, quirky, to say the least. And a lot of people love it. And I mean, it's up for best picture of the year. It's won awards. It, it's got a, a great performances. I hated it. <laughs> be honest with you. I really did. Um, there were some there were some parts of it. I mean, Emma Stone in Poor Things was outstanding. Um, it was, you know, and it, I think if it were shorter and some of the things that were in it were not overdone it would have been a much better film for me. And my wife, who was sitting next to me watching the film at the same time. The problem with Poor Things is it's quirky enough that it's likable. Emma Stone's performance is outstanding. Willem Dafoe, outstanding. Mark Ruffalo, outstanding. They were all great. But it was overdone. And it didn't make sense um at all uh matter of fact um i would classify it this is a film it's not for everybody it really isn't i mean, i could see a lot of people walking out in the first 15 20 minutes uh it falls in my opinion it falls somewhere between soft porn and porn i enjoy a good sex scene as much as the next guy, various kinds of sex scenes. I'm, I'm okay with that. It's art. It's in film. Um, but you know, and seeing full frontal nudity of Emma Stone and two other guys, um, I didn't need it. You know, I mean, leave a little, little bit to the imagination. Uh, the lesbian sex scene was well done. It was too long. Um, I just thought it was, it was the sex scenes. There were a lot of them. Okay. Let's put it that way. There were a lot of them and they were too long, at least too long for a theatrical release. You know, uh, the, the basic storyline is Willem Dafoe is sort of a Frankenstein doctor and the makeup on him was pretty real. Uh, and Emma Stone is a woman who we find out very quickly uh, jumped off a bridge for some reason and killed herself. Willem Dafoe got the body early enough after she died to, first of all, find out she was pregnant and remove the baby, took the baby's brain and implanted it in uh, Emma Stone's head and took out her brain because her brain was dead, right? So... Basically, you find out pretty early she's a a woman, a woman's body with a child's brain, a child, baby, a little more than a toddler. You never really kind of figure that out. Uh, but she becomes very sexy and she moves, in my mind, too quickly from this little girl that's bouncing off the walls. And she goes from toddler to uh, maybe five years old, six years old, eight years old, and a, in a very, very short time. And all of a sudden, she's a woman. And not long after that, she's a woman commanding the world. And it's through her experiences. And uh, it's, and you figure that at some point, I won't spoil it for you, that somewhere along the way, the people she really did know in her previous life are going to come back. And Willem Dafoe does not have a sexual relationship with uh, her and uh, one of the few who don't in the film. Um, and there's a reason for that. And you'll find that out. And it's a, it's a tragic reason. 
uh, that he he doesn't. Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff in this film. Uh, overall, the color is amazing. The shooting of the film is amazing. Uh, some of it, you know, they kind of you know used a little bit uh, of too much graphic, but the color itself and the performances are really good. Emma Stone really is good, but they jumped ahead on her too too fast in a few places. And uh, I think um, it was pretty obvious and uh, that it wasn't her. It was the writing, the directing. I didn't like the directing at all. Um, but, you know, hey, it like I said, it's not a film for everybody. It's a film that if you like quirky films and you like the things I have described to you, go see it. And always go to a theater and watch it at home if you, if you need to. But, you know, that theater experience is always the best. And I always tell people, go to the movies, take a night out, go to the movies. Now we're over the pandemic. But uh, this is a movie, uh, it's, it's interesting. It's called Poor Things. And it's Emma Stone uh, and Mark Ruffalo and Willem Dafoe. And uh, those are the three main actors in the film. There are some other nice performances, very nice performances uh, by some of the lesser actors, or I should say minor actors in the film. Uh, but um, it's worth seeing if you like quirky. If you don't like quirky, you're not prepared for that, and you don't like pretty raw sex, don't go see it. It's not your type of film. You're not. You're going to end up wasting your money and walking out. Um, but outside of that, you know, it's not bad. We'll have another film for you coming up uh, in our next episode. Go see a movie.